Luke wins the award as Mr. Everything is because he has been at Highlands. He really has been Mr. Everything. He's been that on the football team. He's first in his class now, and I don't care how smart you are, it is hard to be first in your class at, at Highlands. And he's playing football and basketball and doing that. It, it, that is just a difficult thing to do. He is just absolutely excelled as a football player. He was a freshman and sophomore, like I said, here last year. I, I really didn't think it was going to go that well for him in, in football. And he's a guy that just is going to go out and do what he can to help the team. JFK said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And, and that has just been Luke. Uh, what can he do to help his team? As a man, what can I do to help my help my family? As, as an employer, what can I do for the for the good of the whole? And that has been that has really been Luke. He really just burst on the varsity scene as a junior playing T. As a senior, we really felt like we needed him to play X, and he said, "Yeah, great. I'm I'm going to do that." Um, and and uh, did a great job there. As a junior, he was. He was our kicker, and as a senior, we said to him, hey, we're not going to have you be our kicker this year, but we need you to be a backup kicker and a backup holder. And although that did get in the way of a little bit of his receiving practice, he said, yeah, I'll do that. And whenever he was needed to kick or hold, he was completely ready. He, he hurt his thumb pretty badly, and that's a problem as a wide receiver, but that didn't slow him down at all, blocking guys, and he just then kept kept catching the football. He, he just had an absolutely great year as both a receiver and as a, as a blocker. My favorite play though, we're playing Lex Calf and we got sacked on first and 10, so it's like second and 15, and Luke's running on the field at X, and so I looked and I said, well, we're gonna call it 88. And 88 is a play, that Luke's number was 88, and so, I could signal to Drew if I wanted to call, if I wanted to do 88, all I had to do was go like this, which meant 88, Luke's, you know, that's, it's a smart guy, 88, <laughs> and, and so Drew would say one of three words. He'd either say Luke or Brockett or Harvard, and everybody knew then we were going to run 88, and so as soon as they uh, hit the, put the ball down, uh, Luke it's Ron 88, Luke is the X, runs a back shoulder flag, second and 15, second round, or, you know, set state semifinals, pushes the guy off, makes just a great catch, and, and we gained 20 yards on the play, got the first down. It was just typical of the kind of football player that Luke was. And, and all of us have traits that we really admire in other people, different traits that are attract, attractive to us in a, a trait that is that I really respect and a trait that is attractive to me is a quiet self-confidence where you when you do things well you just do things well and you're not trying to bring attention to yourself you just do them well and as well as anybody that I have known that is Luke he just does things well with a quiet self-confidence and, and I respect that so much in him and how he's how he's played football and, and who he is as a man. So Luke Brockett, Highlands football, Mr. Everything. <laughs> Joey Cochran.